Hi, Father Marshall Shelley here coming to you from St. Peter's Episcopal Church. It is time for a Rector's Vlog, a weekly update, what's happening in the life, the ministry, the mission of St. Peter's, and I want to welcome you today. The word for the week is confirmation. We have done reaffirmation, reception, now we're at confirmation. The uh, class that we are running for our youth is drawing to a close this coming week, and on Wednesday we'll have our final uh, time together and answering the question, will you strive for justice and peace, respecting the dignity of every human being? Probably the uh, the most challenging of all of the behavioral practical questions of the baptismal covenant. So as we approach this moment when our bishop will offer his final visitation with us on November 20th, which is the Charter Day of St. Peter's, that's when we received our royal charter from King George III all the way back in the 1770s, and we became a parish of the Church of England, then eventually a parish of the Episcopal Church, finally a parish of the Convention of the Diocese of New Jersey of the Episcopal Church. We give thanks for the opportunity to confirm youth, to, to help them to make their adult affirmation of faith. That is done as Episcopalians in the presence of the bishop with a laying on of hands in a particular prayer that the bishop extends over each confirmand. It is a unique moment between the bishop and that individual as they make that new chapter open before them as they prepare to serve Christ as an adult. We are looking forward to that, but before we get there and we offer confirmation, we also have to celebrate our adult inquirers, some of whom will also be confirmed because in the tradition they have come from to join the Episcopal Church, they have not yet made that adult profession of faith. As we approach this coming Sunday, we are getting ready to celebrate Dia de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. Uh, that is traditionally celebrated on either All Saints Day, All Saints Sunday, or in the context now we are offering it on a October 30th, and we we prepare for All Saints Sunday on November 6th. A lot going on. Um, we're really excited about everything that's happening here, and uh, one of those is going to be building an ofrenda. This is an altar that is created in memory of the ancestors who have gone before. It is a celebration of life and the life we share with those we love but see no longer, and also we celebrate the life they have in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. Over my shoulder, you'll see that there is the foundation of what our ofrenda at St. Peter's will look like. We will also have special prayers, both in Spanish and in English and a special blessing as well on the day of on Sunday. Our associate rector, the Reverend Liz, will be preaching on Sunday and will be bridging the gap between the lessons that we will be hearing and the way we commemorate and remember the dead in our lives. Also join us for Women's Breakfast this coming Saturday and then of course there's a ton of stuff happening as we continue to seek and serve Christ in all persons, loving our neighbors as ourselves. We continue to serve our food on Wednesday evening at our Mini Mart food pantry. We continue to offer food through Alice's Cup. We continue to make our witness with the shop at St. Peter's and care for others. And of course, as always, we do our best to make sure we are available to all in prayer and in witness. So please do join us throughout the week. We look forward to sharing that time with you. And again, the word is confirmation. And think about ways in which you also are offering that confirmation of faith. We don't just uh, live in a state inside our heads or even inside our hearts in which our faith is active. We look to seek and make manifest that faith in the relationships we share, in the actions and choices we take and make, and in the way we are able to offer up a material uh, reality in our life, interacting with the world around us, with the people around us, and seeking to offer up that testimony and witness of the gospel. We confirm that faith every day as we make our witness in Christ. Please do like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Let us know what's happening in your lives and how we can pray for you. But above all, it is an honor to welcome you home to St. Peter's. Take care and God bless. Bye-bye now.